Welcome back, friends. It looks like it is day five of the last spell, defending our little town here. And it looks like tonight will be sandwich night, our first night of being sandwiched between attacks from two different directions. Um, so we've got a couple of decisions to make. The most important one, I think we've already got our money from our mine production, but we haven't used workers to increase our production for today. We might, again, potentially want to push this fog back. It's getting kind of close, and money is important, so let's just go ahead and knock out some of this, knock out some of that. All right, what are we up to? 374 gold. Where is the seer? Uh, I think pushing. I don't care about this so much. I just want to push them back. Two tiles back. For three workers is a lot, but it is important to get as much time as we can. We should level up our folks. And if you look, it's kind of an interesting thing you don't think about really, but. Uh, increasing our number of heroes. If you increase the hero number early, you can get a hero for cheaper. It costs less to buy lower level heroes, and then they can level up as you kill things. Um, or you can wait, spend your money on other things, but when you eventually need extra heroes, and you will, uh, it'll cost more to buy the higher level ones. So, uh, In some ways you can save money if you invest early. But I think there's probably more important things for us to spend money on. The fact that it's just two directions, I still think two heroes at each side will be sufficient for this round. All right, level up. What do we have? Paloma, our tanky fighter. Uh, already has a lot of health. I mean, plus five to physical damage is always appreciated. Every time I've re-rolled, it's been a, uh, it's been a failure. So maybe we just take this one and be satisfied. Uh, it's getting a little late. She's already level six. I don't think we need this anymore. Uh, her hammer has a propagation effect, but we're not using it very much. And I don't want to be stuck with using only propagation weapons. So we will skip on that one. Doesn't really need the mana regeneration. Could use accuracy. Because she doesn't have any, apparently. But let's go ahead and just reroll. Okay. We'll, uh. I guess. Let's reroll again. None of these are that important. This one, we'll take that. So it worked out. We, uh, lucked out a bit. Extra liability is never a bad thing. <sighs> so, she's not taking a lot of damage yet, but we could tank with her more <laughs> and uh, put her more in harm's way. Uh, does not have issues with mana because she regenerates from killing things. Uh, this is not a good one for a melee person <laughs> because her weapons already have short range. Uh, again, I don't want to try to focus on stacking effects. Is this the toxic one? I was just reading online some of these options. Okay, because there's one that's like, at the end of your turn, yeah, this one. Apply poison to all enemies within a range of three. That's actually, I mean, if she's going to be just sitting out tanking hits, that's actually huge. <laughs> uh, so we may actually take that one. But let's see what else we have. Uh, we don't want to do blood magic. Uh, I don't want to do that one. Man, I don't think we'll be doing this one. I feel weird because I'm not... Oh, man. I mean, you could really stack some of these. <laughs> if you really focused on... So you're not having... Since, since these have changed so much, not knowing what to really build for... But this seems like a great ability, just to poison everyone around you. And what, a range of three is is pretty far-reaching. Alright, who's next? Raquel did not level up. 
Leo or Janky Wizard did. I don't know why I'm shitting on him so much. He's not that bad, but <sighs> magic damage. I think we've done some crit stuff on him as well. Uh, let's reroll. Mm. Okay, we'll take the crit one. Uh, he does not, I believe, have extra mana regeneration. So increasing that would be good, but against only three. Let's go ahead and reroll. Uh, he does have first blood, so bonus to crit. He's already at so it'd be a 31 chance to crit someone. Let's go ahead and take this bonus to crit power. Although everyone's accuracy is pretty low, we're starting to might be a little dangerous there. Uh, I don't need move points, especially because he's not going to be attacking at melee range. Shorter weapons. <clears throat> this actually might be a viable option for him. He does have range with his magic weapons, as long as you don't give him a scepter or something. And his accuracy is zero right now, so we could give him a boost there. And I think he doesn't have... Yeah, he doesn't have a bonus to, like, block or anything, so he could rely on dodge to avoid damage. So that was an option. Now, he's got poisonous too. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Uh, no. No. We talked about this one potentially. And since these are level zero, that's why it says plus zero mana right now. Um, I don't, well, Mark is an option as well, just to help out. Let's, you know, if we stick him with uh, our fighter lady, maybe they can synergize their, synergize their poison attacks. And he's got this weapon, which does poison as well. He's not going to end close to enemies, but he could do this other stuff. Let's do this. And we'll just make sure we try to give him weapons that do poison. And he and the fighter lady can poison together and synergize. That's simple enough. I think I could probably manage to keep track of that. All right, my new fighter. Uh, if I recall correctly, he has... Dodge. We gave him back protection, so we've we've not <laughs> capitalized on his bonuses here. Let's see. A bunch of commons again. We did give him first blood, so a lot of our people are potentially stacking towards crit chance. Eh, okay, mana eight plus is not bad. Does he? I mean, he regenerates 14 a night. He does not have. Let's take that. And then here, <laughs> poison damage. Does he have poison? He does not. Isolation. He's got the dagger. So I mean, right now, isolation is a bonus for him. We'll reroll these as well. Okay. I mean, plus 20% reliability. That's not bad at all. Uh, vampire. Longer weapons. Minus on his reliability. Although, does it show? Reliability right now is plus 55. So he could lower his reliability and get a bonus of 2 to his skill range. That sounds pretty impressive, actually, for a melee weapon. <laughs> uh, isolated units. But hitting a 9 isolated unit resets it, so I don't like that one. Resupply traps. I mean, that could be handy. Initiator. He does multi. Runic. You know, we're going to be doing a lot of stuff with traps. 
it's only three times a night, but it targets a, a block of nine, so it could really end up saving us a lot of uh, resources. So let's go ahead and take that one. And I think that's it for our leveling up. So that's fine. We've got one worker left. I think we might actually build another house though, so we can get a few more. Uh, no, we need to build buildings. Let's build a, no, we can't build any more houses. I think the next thing we'll build, I thought we could level up the shop so it have better items. But I'm not actually, I'm seeing where we can upgrade how much we get for selling stuff. If I go to the shop, I mean, it looks like the items are slowly getting better. I mean, we've got some level three weapon here, for example. I mean, that wouldn't have been there the first round. Then there's the other option of building one of these shops that generates items every turn. I, oh, because out here. I could make a magic shop or a bowyer or something. Uh, I don't think I need either of these yet. I mean, we can always use another gold mine, I suppose. Let's go ahead and upgrade it. We can upgrade one of these houses to have more workers. We can process some more gold. We can... I think you've already done both of these places, right? We can upgrade this. Upgrade this. How many workers do we have? Two? I think we've already done all the gold out of these places. We can tear down, if there's a two ruin, we can tear that down. Or, I don't know if you've got enough to actually build. Which one do we want? Magic shop, bowyer, blacksmith, or armor maker? Mm, you can make two armor makers and only one of the weapon types. I think ultimately, really, the armor maker is probably more useful just because uh, his armor could probably help anybody, whereas a magic weapon or a bowyer weapon is, is limited to one character. And if it's a piece I don't want, it might not be useful. So let's go ahead and make an armor maker. I guess I'll stick it out here. Let's see what my options are. Workers. We can produce something. That's very expensive to upgrade. Increase the level. This will upgrade every item production building at once. Oh, okay. Let's go ahead, I guess, and make this. See what it comes out with. Oh, I forgot to get the money. I had more than I thought. All right, what do we got? Uh, well, plain, plain, and rare linen armor. Eh. <laughs> doesn't look uh, doesn't look too exciting. We'll take that one. And then let's go to the shop here. Actually, let's double check our people first. All right, so again, she's got the hammer and the very bad sword. She's got a nice bow. Again, it looks really powerful and cool because it's red, but it's just because it's epic. Ultimately, it's only a level two longbow, so it's not that amazing. This, I really need to focus on magic weapons, I think. I mean, even he's got a, a plus one weapon. This guy's got, oh, okay, those are both plus one as well. His is plus one, it's just uncommon. This is plus nothing. <laughs> plus two, plus two, all right. We've got a lot of things we probably should buy. Uh, let's see if anybody needs janky armor with movement and dodge. 
Uh, this guy needs to block and tank, so no. This guy... I mean, this is my mage. He doesn't really need armor and stuff. He needs more mobility, so he could use it. My archer has already got better equipment. So let's actually give you that. I also have this pistol we got from last night, I believe. Which we can give to you to replace. So now you've got a a very nice long-range weapon and a very nice short-range weapon. Plus 10% critical power is not bad. And because she has 12 move, that momentum bonus will actually pay off as well. And no blocks. She can mow down blockers. Interesting. Uh, actually, it's kind of neat with the grapple. So you can shoot with the second alternate thing, grapple in, and then you can do grape shot since you're in point blank range anyway and mow people down and then you can just run away <laughs> uh, okay so we're good there we're gonna go buy gear we're looking for magic items magic items are all level one except for this one which is level two this is two-handed and it's interesting if you look so the pillar of light it hits the main target for a decent amount of damage, and then it lowers the accuracy of all the people around the target. This one, you teleport... Well, you hit a target, and if you kill it, you teleport to where it was, and you have a chance to stun everything around where you arrive. So, <laughs> you can teleport in when you kill something. Now you're in the middle of the enemy. They're all stunned, hopefully. And then you've got the Scorching Wave, which is a block area attack, and it does double damage against stunned or otherwise hindered opponents. Or just a Fire Thrower, again, another short-range blast into an area. That's six mana. That's uh, pretty expensive. However, I'm not seeing a lot of other uh, magic attacks. This is another minus or just a base level plus one item although it gives you plus 19 poison damage and if i recall correctly even if you have like two weapon sets if this is in your offset if it's just like in your inventory you're holding it uh your character gets that plus 19 bonus so we've got some weapons that do poison a putrid ball which poisons everybody around you. This might not be a bad thing to have, actually, since we're doing lots of poison. And he has stuff that stacks now with poison. What do we have item-wise? I only got 35 bucks, although I've got a bunch of stuff I can just sell. Let's sell that. Actually, if I'm gonna sell stuff, let's go ahead and upgrade this. <laughs> of course, now I may not have enough money to buy anything anymore, but. We need to sell stuff anyway. Sell, 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 sell. Let's have our wizard, Leo. Um, which one are we going to replace? We're going to replace the novice wand plus one, so you have more poison damage we're throwing out. We'll sell that. Okay, we're up to 37 again. It's not terrible. Nice fedora. <laughs> Inquisitor hat. That's actually... I mean, for 32? Look at that. Again, I don't care about the resistance or the health as much, but critical power plus 20 and plus 7 accuracy. This might go well on our wizard. He doesn't have a hat, and he has a high bonus chance for uh, criticals, and he's got very little bonus to accuracy. Uh, accuracy and armor. That's a little too expensive. I'm going to take that one. Kind of expensive, but it's going to... Anyone can use it if you've got so many people that have bonuses for uh, initiator and critical stuff. And it looks snazzy. Uh, we've done that. I don't need to recruit. So now I just need to put up defensive structures or repair. 
Let's actually go through here. No, move. Let's go through here and repair. Um, we could repair the walls. I'm less worried about that. I wonder if there's a way I can like double click to repair stuff. Nope. Because this is kind of tedious. All right, I'm gonna pause and just repair all these traps on the two sides. You don't need to watch that. All right, they're all repaired. I've set up a few more, and then I realized in some ways these traps are kind of counterproductive. Again, I, I've won before using shitloads of traps, but now that three of my four characters have, again, I think it's called Initiator or First Blood, a plus 15 bonus to crit chance on uninjured targets, and I've got people wandering into minefields, especially these, which hit all the squares around them, uh, suddenly I'm not hitting a lot of uninjured targets. So I put up more slow traps, which only hit the one target, one person that steps on it. Uh, that will, it still injures them slightly, but more importantly, it slows them down, which jams up the people in the back. And I can use the uh, first blood, maybe on the flanks or something. Uh, plus I've got a guy who regenerates traps. So I may have a few blocks of traps so I can hit on the parts with first blood where there aren't a lot of people or aren't a lot of traps so I get a lot of crits and then a, a separate section here is slowed and slightly damaged and I can recharge. I don't know. We'll see how it works. Other than that though I've got Paloma and the wizard up here to synergize their poison stuff and down here we've got our new fighter Kobe and our archer and she'll be interesting trying to figure out exactly how it works with her long range and short range she's got a shitload of movement though so i think we'll be okay see how it goes uh oh okay we already moved so it's kind of weird to have a second phase to set up but i suppose it's nice just in case oh we get the Reapers in here. Or the Rippers, I think they're called. I'm talking XCOM when I say Reapers. And the little booster guy. Is he called a Hopper? What did he boost it with? He gave him, oh. Plus eight. I don't think it's plus eight resistance? Yeah, it is plus eight resistance. Is that his damage resistance? Or his piercing my resistance? I'm not sure. Doesn't matter. We're gonna kill them all anyway. Uh, let's see. This guy is kind of tough, actually. Let's step up here and just hammer him, I guess. We didn't stun that guy. This might kill him. Does not look like it will. But it might hurt him enough. I can execute him. Uh, we can come over here. I mean, in some ways, this is a bit of a waste because I'm not going to hurt any of these guys, but I have a chance to stun them all. <laughs> I didn't stun anybody. Let's hit this guy then. And... I guess... We can pull out the sword, even though it's... Again, less effective now. He's got 130 health. Thrust. Uh, we poison everybody within three. Poison those two. Actually, let's poison this guy. And armor up. This guy's stunned, so that's fine. He'll get poisoned. I guess my wizard. All right, so <clears throat> this gets a bonus opportunism, which is poison, stunned. I don't know about movement debuff. So let's see if it does anything here. Looks like it does not get a bonus to damage on him, but it would on him. So instead of 92 to 106, we do 142 to 164. That's pretty good. And then we can hit this guy 
We've got plenty of action points. I'm not going to use my mana. We'll just hit him with whatever we've got. Switch over to this. Infect. Which, what does Infect do? I think it just does damage, and it gets a bonus for isolation. So that guy is isolated. We might as well hit this guy as well. Crit. And... Oh, I didn't cheer. Again, like I've always talked about it. I have a hard time remembering that stuff. I will try to do it next time, though. And this will be useful if he gets stunned. I think this removes. Yep, so I can cleanse and get debuffs off him. Alright, down here. Kind of annoying because they're skewed on the side. But that might actually work out okay with this person. She's got uh, the grappling weapon now. What's the range on that? Oh, it's a straight shot. Well, let's try. This avoids, the pistol shot ignores block. And that guy has a lot of block. So let's move to here and shoot him with the pistol. And then, can't get that much further over there, so let's see. How much movement does he have? 11? He could throw his dagger, potentially. Let's switch. These guys are isolated, so he can do extra damage to them. <laughs> Almost. He could execute if he was close enough. Um. I'll well, shoot him with her. No, you can. The pistol is that way, so good. Now we can archer these guys. Nice and isolated. Definitely kill him. Especially with the crit. Uh, might as well shoot him too. Anything else? Shoot him again. Alright, not a bad run. This guy can move, he'll have four movement back. Let's just take an easy kill. And fall back to here. Armor up. You can't armor up. Alright, not a bad start. Uh, sure. Ah, a runner. Took some damage, which just slows him, which is a bit annoying. Uh, oh, we've got one in the town. This guy has third eye active. So he should be able to just shoot this guy. Not any problem. Uh, let's see. Any blockers with lots of blocks? No, we're just looking for his pistol. Like we might as well utilize our best skills. Um, this guy. I mean, this is not the most powerful weapon, but we might as well give it a try. Execute him, and we can use charge and hit these dudes. Execute. Execute order 66. <laughs> uh, da, 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 da. Still have six movement. You could come down to here, hit these dudes, execute him, come up here, hit that dude. Let's wait, actually. I'm thinking about falling back to there. Uh, but we'll see what he does. Because he could throw daggers, too, if we need to. For you, you might as well shoot that guy in the face. Uh, oh. I mean, you could grapple into that guy. <laughs> and, I mean... 
do I really need to grape shot these people? Probably not, but it's funny, so we'll do it. Um, might as well shoot that guy. And that guy. Oh, he only got one action point left. That's too bad. Fall back. Switch to the bow. And shoot that guy. And you can fall back. And armor up. Alright. Looks nice. Nice. Nice, fellas. What do we have over here? These guys are very balled up, which to me sounds like the putrid ball, which poisons everybody. And then, let's make sure to cheer. If we putrid ball again, I think this guy stuns. May not be the best option though. I don't know if it stacks or not. If he... Oh, let's do this. Let's just entangle them all now. There. Now they'll slowly putz along and slowly get eaten by the poison. Except for Archer Boy in the back, since he can attack us. That looks good. Let's kill this guy. And who else? Let's hit you. That didn't do very much. All right, what do you got? You're gonna come over here. You're gonna hammer this guy. Stunned one of them. Let's hammer that guy. And I mean, 230 to 247 damage is pretty good. Let's hammer this guy. He's still pretty alive, though. We are out of hammer time attacks. Do have a decent amount. Oh, actually, don't have that much movement left. Let's switch to this. Let's do a thrust. Because we've moved quite a bit into him. And then. 145 to 154. That might be enough to kill him. It is not. Well, I can't move and get up to you. I can, I guess. <laughs> All right, we'll fall back. Not as successful over here, although it will slowly eat these guys away. If we hit Alt, someone had mentioned in the comments, we can see all the people's movement, and it's pretty limited, so that's good. And over here, I don't think there's anybody left, just that dude. So we'll call that good. Right, they're gonna shoot Han or her, but she's got plenty of armor. He's fine. Oh man, that's a lot of dudes over there. <clears throat> Ah, he is poisoned. I think he's poisoned because he started to turn. Started his turn in three of him. So that poison did make a difference. I want to get over here so I can hammer this group. Uh, let's see if I do a cut here. This guy will poison out. If I do this, I'll kill him. Ugh. What if I do it again? So, like I said, accuracy becomes an issue later on in the game. Uh, 
hammer has a little bit of reach. A little bit of reach. Let's hammer this dude. See if I stun some people. Let's hammer this dude. Try to stun some people. And hammer this dude. Nice. So, that'll stun that. He'll stand, she'll stand here and poison all these people. Now, Leo just needs to finish off all these dudes. <clears throat> this guy's isolated, which will help because he's got an attack that will do extra damage there. Let's... through everybody. Nice. This one does the extra damage for isolation. So what is that? 136, 158 damage. Not great, but we'll take it. He is not poisoned at all though, so I forgot to cheer again, as usual. You know, Death Ray is funny, but it's six mana, and he's, there's only three dudes here, so. Not gonna mess with it yet. Uh, let's. How far is. Okay, not gonna get very far. He's already dead from poison. He's poisoned for three more rounds. He will die. He will die eventually, but. Not very quickly. Let's hit that guy. And we can do centipedes on you. Uh, fall back. All right, what else do we have? We've got our team down here that has not gone. Let's take the easy shot first, try to finish him. Ugh, that's annoying. Uh, there is a blocker here, so you might as well shoot him with the old pistola. And this guy has 20 block as well. He's out of range. Let's shoot him. Go ahead and archer this dude. Who else? Who else wants to die? This is just a stun attack. Does a little bit of damage, and I could put it here. I would say, yeah, he's not that stun resistant. Might as well stab him. Oops. I was expecting a knife attack. <laughs> now let's undo that. Let's go to. This guy's not in. Yeah, I was going to do the charge and hit all three, but. He's not on the board yet, so I think we will go with this. Annoying. Let's do a charge actually into this guy. We can chop him. We can free kill this dude. Step back and armor. You've still got a few free shots. Let's hit the isolated guy here. Let's hit this guy. Let's pull out the pistol. And then slide over here. And buff. Alright. Again, pretty clean. This flank is not going quite as well, but I think we're still okay. hits on her, but she's fine. <laughs> this actually looks like a good uh, potential target for some of these attacks. Grape shot. One, three, and five. It's like if she comes here, <laughs> that 
did okay. Didn't kill anybody, but it did fuck some people up pretty well. Does not have any... I can only shoot it once, though. I need to get him over here. Uh, let's see. I guess he could just auto-kill most of these people. Let's see. Um, actually, he could step here, charge in, execute that guy. She can shoot this guy. I could have just knifed him, too. <clears throat> Let's see. These guys are on the board, so theoretically he could hit them. Doesn't have a great weapon for that, though. You can just run these guys down again. You might as well just shoot these guys. Pistol shot. Oh, because there's momentum. He moved a bunch. Or she moved a bunch. It's... Raquel, it looks like a girl, but it looks like she has a, maybe it's a mask or something on the helmet. It looks like a beard every time I glance at it. <laughs> um, let's go ahead and shoot this dude. Let's go ahead and shoot this dude. Let's go ahead and shoot that dude again. Excellent. You've got five movement left and a bunch of action points. I mean, I guess we can just throw poison at people. It takes three mana, though. Uh, sure, we'll go like that. Oh, they're isolated. Let's, I don't think there's any barricades for him to hide next to, so let's just uh, step back a bit. No, he can't armor up, so we'll step back a little bit further. Did I... I did not do these guys, okay. I would not want to skip <laughs> a turn at this point. Hammered. Yeah, stunned a few. Uh, let's hammer... Oh, no, they're too far. Hammer over here. Didn't stun either of them. Uh, hammer you. <laughs> this is a very strange weapon art. We've got seven movements, so we can come through here and hit these two. And most of these guys, oh, not slowed. They actually weren't injured. These guys are all stunned, though. Let's see what we can do here. Uh, putrid ball. We can poison some more, which is kind of what we've been doing. Oh, the blocker is blocking line of sight, so maybe not. We can putrid ball here. We can centipede this guy, who's hindered now. Unlimited power! Oh god, he's got palpy. This guy is poisoned, so centipede will do extra damage to him. They're dead, dead, dead. This guy can actually move far enough. That guy cannot. One attack on her is fine, though. Let's see about that guy. Can we hit him? I want to hit him. Excellent. Can I see this guy back here? And this guy. And... You don't have any other attacks, and I forgot to cheer again. Let's undo that movement. And just fall back to here. And you're done. I mean, you could step back, but it's okay to tank a hit. Alright. Now I think we're done.
is a problem though, I'd forgotten. Tanking hits does take away movement. Which is a oh I shot the gate. That asshole. Oh he's poisoned. Uh, is he still poisoned? She is. This takes mana, but I don't wanna lose health. So you are now good to go. Uh, let's see here. That blocker is a slight problem. What if I greatsword through here? And I can execute you. And we can hammer time this guy. Stunned a few. <laughs> I don't know if I want you tanking this many hits. Why not? You ain't scurred. Stunned. Stunned. Armor and armor. I mean, she'll poison everyone, and I think I may have given her the reflection ability. Yeah, spiky. So when they hit her, she'll spike them back. So now it's just up to you. That person is not poisoned. You don't have a regular attack that poisons, and I forgot to cheer again. <sighs> yeah, nothing does a normal poison. But we have an attack that does bonus damage to isolated targets, so let's rely on that. That was pretty brutal. Centipede probably does more now. He's not kind of isolated. And Centipede does more damage against targets that are hindered. And isolated. There we go. Nice. Done. And we have not worked down here yet. What are we gonna do? Let's hit some isolated targets. You can finish him off with a isolated boosted dagger. That guy's already dead. I don't need to worry about him. Stand you. Um, you're already dead. If I come in here and stab you, I mean, I can kill you. But I'm going to get hit next turn, but again, that's fine. Kill you. That guy's not hurt enough to kill. Step back. Bolt up. This actually give a plus forty percent dodge to a friendly unit, so I could do that and help him. All right, he's dead. Let's step away. I don't have third eye activated yet. Let's see if we can kill this dude. Now that everyone's isolated, we can pick them off. Hopefully. Ho hopefully. Uh, I'm mostly worried about you. Since you have a ranged weapon. And I might as well shoot you. Alright. Is there a dude? No, it's just you. He's gonna die from poison. Everything up here looks fine. Have we actually used any of these traps? It does not appear to be any of these traps. So I don't need to recharge them with him. All right, only 12 enemies left. Uh, 11 enemies left. And he's gonna get hit a lot. Well, she took a little bit of damage actually. So did he. 
but now she's got them right where she wants them. It's hammer time, bitches. Um, that didn't that didn't do very much damage. Fifty percent stun resistance is pretty significant. Can you follow up? And get out of there. You can. Let's smash patriarchy. <laughs> You go, girl. Excellent. I, I really want to use the death beam on these guys, but it's not... <laughs> it's not required. Um, we want to hit this... Oh, I can't see that guy. Just chop these guys up. Oh, there's one more back there? That's bullcrap. Forgot to cheer. Again. Okay, there's one in the fog over there. Then just a few dudes over here. Oh, and they're all isolated. They're just asking to get shanked. But. <laughs> And shit. Oh. oh, it does highlight ones that need to be recharged. I suppose that's handy. There we go. One recharge. Oh, you can resupply catapults as well. So maybe I need to put some catapults up. <laughs> Those, actually, catapults would be a nice follow up. So I can actually hit somebody with first blood do crit damage, and then the ones that are left alive, the catapult does area of effect, can finish them off. And I think that's everything. We're just gonna wait for this one dude to come in. <laughs> Spiky countered. And then we'll do a follow-up. Smack. 16% dodge. Oh. We've been to hell and back, boys. Okay, some level ups. Leo did not make the cut. <clears throat> Again, though, pretty even distribution, although our melee fighters did the bulk of the killing. Lost 19 health, but I'm assuming she regenerated it all. And let's see here. We've seen that one. We've seen opportunity. I don't think we've seen opportunism. We did quite a bit of damage because we had so many enemies that had poison and, ne and stun negative effects. A hero didn't lose any health. So that's not true in a way, but it must wait until after you've regenerated the next morning because Paloma definitely lost a little bit of health, but quiet night, yep, no one got into town. We had some momentum. Was slippery again? Oh, dodged. Alright. So I spent some of the tainted essence earlier to start unlocking some more stuff. And you can see it right there, the fog moving in. Alright, another successful night. Let's take a look. Oh, we got two. We've got all this money. So let's take that. Our new item from our armor maker. It's all garbage, probably because it hasn't been upgraded. <laughs> so, I mean, I guess we can look. Some of our people don't have a helmet at all, or a trinket. I mean, for some of our people who don't have a trinket, a bonus to critical and opportunism, this might actually go well on our wizard. He's got a boost to critical, and he's hitting a lot of stunned and poisoned targets with his opportunism target. Or spells. That's maybe okay. Yeah, I'll take that one. And potentially a better reward. <clears throat> oh, these scepters are the melee ranged ones, right? They are. So the scepter is a melee range focused magic weapon. Movement points and dodge. <laughs> Shocking touch. So, not a... Oh, it's eh, stun for one turn. It shocks through people. Or the Hammer of Faith. 
an interesting one that can combine well with that two-handed staff that teleports you to where you kill somebody. So you can teleport into the enemy ranks and hit them with magic stuff. Uh, unfortunately, there's no poison stuff, no, uh, no poison, no bonuses for, what's it called, opportunism. So this is not going to synergize with our current magician very well. Spike boots plus four. Crit power plus 35. I think at least one of our melee people is focused on crit, so that's huge. Bonus of armor is good. Daily mana regeneration could be bad, except for, again, I think at least Paloma has the perk where she regenerates mana just from killing, so it's not a problem. And if Paloma is going to use that hammer, uh, a bonus to stun chance of 15% is not bad, so we will definitely take that. All right, night five is complete. We'll call today's episodes complete there, and uh, day six tomorrow. Good luck in your adventures, and I'll see you next time.